Let's solve this problem. The first thing to do is to figure out what we know. Well, the helicopter is going up at 12 meters per second, and thus when the man lets go, his initial velocity will be 12 meters per second. By making that positive, I'm thus calling the upward direction positive. We also know the man is 20 meters above the pillow, so therefore his displacement will be negative 20 meters. He will drop 20 meters in position. Great. Oh, and finally, once he lets go, he will have an acceleration, and that acceleration will be the acceleration of gravity, which is in the downward direction, and 10 meters per second squared. Well, to solve the problem, we can use the equation the final velocity squared equals the initial velocity squared plus 2 times the acceleration times the displacement. And now plugging in our values, we get 12 meters per second squared plus 2 times negative 10 meters per second squared times a negative 20 meters. Great. And now by squaring things out, we get 144 meters squared second squared plus 2 times 10 times 20 is 400 and the units are meters times meters makes it meters squared all over second squared. Same units, we can add the numbers and we get 544 meters squared second squared and now all that's left to do is to take the square root of both sides and when we do that we get plus or minus 23.3 meters per second. Well, we want to take the plus. Oh, actually, I should be careful. His velocity is downward, so we want to take the minus. Minus 23 meters per second. Great. So now we know his speed just before he lands on the pillow. Well, let's write that up here so we remember it and then erase the board. 23 meters per second. And I'll clear this stuff away. So the next question asks, how long is he in the air? Well, when he lets go of that rope, from the helicopter's perspective, he'll start flying downward. But from someone else, from an observer, or from the pillow's perspective, he will first go up and then come down. So what we can do is first find the time it takes till he gets to his highest point. And that's always a good place to, to use because at the highest point, the velocity is zero. And then we can find the time, we'll call that T1, and then we can find the time T2 that it takes to come all the way down. So that'll be our strategy. And so let's first solve for T1. And we'll use V final equals V initial plus AT. And I know the at the highest point the final velocity is zero. We know the initial is 12 meters per second. We know gravity is 10 meters per second squared times T. And therefore, we get negative 10 squared times t is 12 meters per second. And now dividing both sides by the acceleration of gravity. And that gives you, well, these guys cancel. And then 12 divided by 10, 1.2 seconds. And by the way, notice how the units cancel as well. Great. So we know it takes 1.2 seconds to get to the top. And now, solving for T2, well, we know, oh, let's find how far he went in those 1.2 seconds. So, we know delta x is equal to the initial velocity times time plus 1 half a t squared. And we have 12 meters per second times 1.2 seconds, minus 1 half times 
negative 10 is 5, so minus 5 times 1.2 seconds squared. And that's, I can't squeeze it in, but that's 5 meters per second squared. Uh, let's see, I'll put it up here, meters per second squared. And then the second squared in the numerator cancels with these guys. And these seconds cancel with these guys. Excellent. And if you work this out, you get 7.2 meters. So we know that after 1.2 seconds, he is a distance of 27.2 meters above the pillow. And if we use the equation, delta x equals initial velocity times time plus one half a t squared, we can then solve for the time it takes to go from the top of his arch to the bottom. And at the very top, his velocity is zero, so that's simply zero. Excellent. And then we can plug in the values. Well, he'll be displaced a distance of negative 27.2 meters. But since we're working on the board, let's leave it at 27 meters. And I should have had that here as well because according, because that's the, the distance he drops. Great. And then 1 half at squared. Well, this is negative 10 meters per second squared times a half. So we had negative 5 meters per second squared times t squared. And then if you divide by 5 and take the square root, well, first let's divide by 5. t squared equals 5.44 seconds squared. Now, what did I do right there? All I did was divide both sides by the 5 meters per second squared. These guys canceled. These meters units canceled, and you got a second squared in the numerator. Now, we just want to take the square root of both sides. And if you do that, we get that t is equal to 2.3 seconds. That's t2. And therefore, the total time, t1 plus t2, is simply... 1.2 seconds plus 2.3 seconds, and that equals 3.5 seconds. So he's in the air for 3.5 seconds before he lands on the pillow. And great. Oh, and to answer part C, well, we've already answered it because his highest point was up here, and that was 7.2 meters from when he let go, 7.2 plus 20. That's just 27.2 meters. So that's the answer to part C. Part B, 3.5 seconds. Great. One last question. What is the distance between the helicopter and the man three seconds after he lets go? Well, to answer that question, let's, let's first figure out where the man is after three seconds. And we can use this equation. And we'll plug in the values. So we get 12 meters per second times 3 seconds plus 1 half negative 10 squared times 3 seconds. And then working everything out, 12 times 3 is 36 meters plus a, well, negative 5 meters per second squared times, oh, I forgot the square here, up here. That's three seconds squared, so that's nine seconds squared. And you can see the units cancel here, so I get meters. And I'm left with, then, 36 meters minus, because 45, five times nine is 45. That equals negative nine meters. So the man is negative nine meters, or, 11 meters above pillow. So that's the man. Let's put that here. That's the man. What about the helicopter? Well, the helicopter just maintains a constant velocity. So in three seconds, the helicopter is just displaced 
the 12 meters per second times the 3 seconds, which is equal to 36 meters, or 56 meters above a pillow. Thus, as you can see, the, the separation between the man and the helicopter is simply 45 meters. And you can see that by taking the pillow perspective of 56 minus 11, or you could just take the absolute values here and here. Either way, you get a separation distance of 45 meters. All right, problem solved.